Hey everyone, welcome to another screencast. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to write the basis of a electro house track. At least I think that's the genre that it falls into. I don't really know anymore. But anyway, uh, I'm going to show you how to do the drums and program a bass line, and then we're going to finish it off with uh, some chords on top of it. And it's not going to be a full song, but it'll be enough to show you guys how to get started if uh, you want to write some quick dance tracks in Ableton Live. So let's get started. Okay, so before we get started programming the drums on this song, um, I want to recommend that you guys place a limiter on your master channel here. That way you don't get any clipping. Because layering drum sounds on top of each other can cause some problems with uh, clipping on the master channel. So it's always a safe bet to drop that limiter on there. I have some drum sounds here that I'm going to be using. Some are multiple sounds um, of the same part of the drum. So I have like two kick hits here. I have two claps to layer on top of the snare. So what that means is I'll just be layering these sounds on top of each other just to give it a, a more full sound. Um, so I'm going to go here to the um, device browser and I'm going to drop in a drum rack on this MIDI track here. And we can get rid of this audio track by just clicking it and hitting delete. And I'm going to go back to my drum sounds. I'm going to drop each sound in this drum rack individually, starting with the, the first kick drum here. And we'll move on to the snares and the claps. And last, we'll put the hi-hats in here. And after I'm done dropping all the drum sounds in here, I'm going to bring up the sampler window here by right-clicking on it. And we're going to click on, on each of these pads on the drum rack sampler. And we're going to bring the release up on each of these pads, as well as the velocity. That way we get the full volume and the full sample that plays through with the release all the way up. And once that's done, we can double click. First, I'll turn the record button off here. And we'll double clip, click on this uh, empty clip slot here. That'll make an instant MIDI loop for us to work with. It's exactly one bar. I'm going to activate the headphone icon up here, which allows us to edit the notes as we enter them in our piano roll window. And I'm going to start inputting some kick drums here on uh, the one, two, three, and four of this beat and it's just a typical four on the floor beat. So to get that full volume, we're going to bring this velocity up to 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and drag out so I can grab all these uh, kick drums. I'm going to hold down the Alt button, and I'm going to drag up and bring the velocity of this kick drum to about 100%. Or to 100, I should say. And once we got that at 100, I'm going to highlight these again, and we're going to hold down Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, and we're going to click and drag to copy these kick hits. And now we've layered these two kick drums on top of each other, that way we get a fuller sound. So I'll play back what we have so far. Just a typical four on the floor beat there. And um, next I'm going to grab this kick hit here, and I'm going to grab the other one over here by holding down uh, Shift and clicking. And that's, that selects two items at once if you hold down the shift button. And I'm going to hold down control again. And we're going to drag it up on the two and the four of this beat on the snare hit here. Let's make another copy. And then we're going to do this two more times on our clap tracks as well. And we'll play this back. So next I'm going to do the closed hi-hats, and I'm going to place those on every eighth note. And I'm just inputting those by double-clicking them. And then we'll do the open hat on the offbeat here. So you can look at that as uh, every other closed hat we have an open hat on. So let's listen to what that sounds like. pretty typical dance beat there. Um, so now we're going to mix the drums. That way each hit blends well with each other because right now everything's just at full volume. And um, I want the hats a little bit lower and also the snare here can be a little bit lower because I want the claps to overpower that. So I'm going to open up the mixer with drum rack by clicking on this arrow up here. 
and I'm going to play back the loop and I'm going to kind of just mix here a little bit and mess around with the sounds and see uh, what sounds good. All right, so that's a pretty good sound for the drums there. And next up, we're going to program a bass line for this track. Okay, so we got our drum loop programmed, and now we're going to move on to the bass line. For the bass line, I'm going to use Ableton's operator, and I'm going to just click and drag that into an empty area here on the mixer in Ableton and that'll automatically create a new MIDI track with Ableton on it. I'm going to unclick on the record button here and double click on this empty clip slot to create another one bar loop and this bass line is going to be just one bar it's going to be in the key of C minor and it's a, just a simple three note uh, bass line that I'm going to input here really quick. I'm going to add the or click on the headphone icon again here and uh, it's pretty simple Okay, so um, I'm just once again double clicking to input these notes. And like I said before, this is in C minor. Uh, it fits within that scale. If you guys want to learn about some music theory on your own time, uh, you can. There's a great website I recommend. Um, it kind of just gives you some major and minor chords and notes along with tons of other types of scales and chords. But what's nice about it is um, you can just click on the root note here and then click on either a scale which it'll show up here in the window or it'll give you the notes for it down here which the notes show up here in Ableton's piano roll window which is really handy um, so you can look up like I said chords or scales here which is really cool so I recommend you visit it it's um, just type in I think piano chords or piano scales in Google and this should be the first result that shows up um, or you can just go to pianoworld.com um, so let's get back to the baseline here this is what it sounds like so far Nothing really too exciting just yet, but um, I am going to load a preset into Operator. I'm not going to program my own bass sound for this tutorial. I think it'll just take too long. Um, I'll have to start another video series here pretty soon um, about programming synthesizer sounds in Analog and Operator. But for now, I'm just going to use a preset and kind of tweak some of the uh, knobs, like the frequency and the resonance, to get a more interesting sound out of it. So to load up a preset, um, we're going to click the Hot Swap button here, and we're going to do it once. And we're going to go into the synth bass sounds. And we're going to choose the decider bass. And you just double click on that same icon here that you clicked on originally in the operator. And once you click on that, it's actually a single click, that'll load in the bass sound. So now we'll hear what it sounds like. And I'll play that back with the drums as well. Okay, so we're definitely going to want to fatten up the sound a little bit of this uh, bass sound here. So what I'm going to do is drop a copy of Saturator over this. So we'll drag that just by clicking and dragging on the channel here. And we'll bring the output down to about negative 6. And maybe bring the drive up. I'll play it while I'm doing this. <laughs> So that's pretty decent for now and the next step I'm going to do for the bass sound is we're going to add some side chain compression to the bass and the way we do that is we'll find the compressor here under the audio effects click and drag that on top of the bass channel and we are going to click this little arrow here so it opens up our side chain section and we're going to click on this button here that says side chain and then audio from we're going to choose our drum rack and underneath that is where we're going to choose our actual